up from 3 million tons. This was good news, not just for workers who've had their work hours reduced and expecting to get back to a full work schedule, but also for government's revenue from the expected sale of 110 shipments of bauxite within a year. We have at this time two major plants that are closed. Three. You have Kirkvine, which is our oldest plant, which is closed. You have Alpad and you have Yorton. So we have three plants closed. But what is what we must pay attention to is that the two plants that we have open, the one in um, St. Anne's Bay, owned and operated now by a company called Noranda, that is operating above their capacity. It's operating at 100, 102 percent. They are actually doing more than, if, than their machinery was actually built or geared or engineered to do. So they are above their capacity rating, which is phenomenal. In 2009, the National Minerals Policy of Jamaica was crafted. The policy will address the regulation and sustainability of the mining sector, the rehabilitation of mined out lands, and the sustainable development of these lands. We have six policies that we are going to be putting in place. I plan to have them ready or outlined and in front of the Prime Minister and Cabinet this year. And the early part of this year, I plan to hopefully st be able to stand in Parliament and speak to them six more policies in addition. So that's the challenge of the ministry and that's what we're really going to be focusing on along with the LNG policy. 2009 is now history. The Ministry of Mining and Energy intends to learn from the challenges and build on the accomplishments of the year as it moves forward. We have done a lot and we have a lot more to do and you're going to feel the benefits of it. Son, how you look so? Wait, expect. You know, I'm pregnant. Well, the pregnancy is not treat you right. It's not really the pregnancy, you know. But from last night, I have a fever. I chew it sore. I just feel awful. My <coughs> <coughs> doctor sound right, Roxanne. It sounds to me like you need to go see your doctor immediately. Especially with the H1N1 we are grown. Well, not just for a regular flu. That's not nothing. Regular flu? <coughs> the flu is not nothing for joke with you know. Especially for you who are falling under the high risk category. High risk category? What that? Well, the Ministry has stressed that pregnant women, persons with chronic illnesses such as asthma, obesity, diabetes, hypertension, and even children under five years should go to the doctor as soon as they start feel flu. Why? Because these persons are more at risk for serious illnesses or even death from the flu. Death? Then go put on my clothes and go to the doctor right now. You better do that. For more information about influenza AH1N1, call toll-free 1-888-1-LOVE. That's 1-888-663-5683 or contact your parish health department. A message from the Ministry of Health, the Jamaica Information Service, the Voice of Jamaica, and the Pan American Health Organization, PAHO. In 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, let's go! Radio. We'll have Calcum of Close and House Matters in our features package. And now the news, I'm Kevin Clark. Research and publication. Television. It's Wednesday, October 28th. We've got a hot, hot, hot Jamaica magazine. Welcome, welcome to another edition of... Editorial and Photography. For 
public relations. It is set to be the driving force of the agency. All this and more in one place. Four divisions, 15 departments. The largest organization of its kind in Jamaica and I dare say in the English-speaking Caribbean. One strategic objective. Truth. Well told. It's the Jamaica Information Service. The Voice of Jamaica. And this is where we'll have to close the pages of this edition of Jamaica Magazine. Check us out tomorrow for another exciting program. And remember, this and other programs can be viewed online at www.jis.gov.jm. While you're at it, give us your feedback at jamaicamagazine at jis.gov.jm. On behalf of the team here at the GIS, I'm Alison Watson. Have a great evening. This has been a production of the Jamaica Information Service. The, the voice, voice of, of Jamaica. Jamaica.